Thank you for joining me over here on Titan Shield Gaming. We're going to take a look at the Dark and Light game that just released on Early Access. Now, Early Access has its issues, it has its, ex its glitches, its exploits, it has all the good things that come with a game that is still in development. So, I highly recommend, do not judge too harshly guys, this is a game that has a lot of potential and I have been enjoying it the last couple of days. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start this series off with a nice easy going video of me exploring the racial cities on the map that is the humans the elves and the dwarves so i'm hoping you guys will enjoy this hope you guys will take a little insight into the game and see what kind of thing it is but overall it is very very similar to arc so i'm hoping you guys will stick around and check it out We're going to start off with the Elf City. Now this Elf City is meant to be also a community hub. So it's going to be able to support um, people who are into PvP coming in and buying patterns and getting things made specifically in the city. And you're going to have a bunch of people who are more into role playing and they might actually want to live in the city. And there are structures here from what I can tell. I've been up to the billboards and looking at them is that you can actually rent them so it'd be interesting to see if you can use that from a role-playing perspective where you can live in a building or it could be interesting to see if people who are in the PvP can use them as safe structures now knowing this is pre-release um, alpha kind of feel to it I'm definitely going to say that that option might not even come to the final product because I can see a lot of PvP people using it as an exploit or ability to hold large amounts of important things in the main city where no one can touch them, the structures can't be damaged, and the NPCs will protect it. So interesting to see. But overall, the architecture in here is beautiful. There is a lot of work done into this. You can actually see you can open doors. You can go into structures and they have props in here. So this is very promising for an early state release. Um, I would love to see what this game is going to be like in a year. And I'm hoping I'm going to be playing this in a year. So this is going to be a really fun, exciting game to play. And there's a lot of different things throughout here. And you can see there's plenty of, plenty of NPCs walking around. There were a ton of people. A ton of people when I first started playing this game the other day. Um, there's a tavern here. Um, I would like to see um, the ability to buy alcohol here. I believe you can buy and trade with the person in here. But overall, it's a really cool feature. So we're going to go up to the second tier. We're going to go up here. You get a lot more moving NPCs up here. This seems to be where all the royal uh, elves live. Or at least the upper class elves. And the architecture up here is great. There's some pretty cool looking things and it could make for some really fun videos as well as cinematic shots. So I'm definitely going to be considered doing that in the future. I'm going to be taking some beautiful shots of the cities and put them up for you guys to see. But overall, these buildings are not just boxes with skins on them. There is actual thought put into them. There's layouts. There's a lot of possibilities to see what people will do. As well as um, interesting things, maybe there'll be quest lines that make you go into these structures and stuff like that. So, really cool. I like this a lot. It is interesting. And I hope you guys like it too. So, I would highly recommend you get on the game if you are playing it. If you're not, maybe this will be a little informative for you guys. Um, but go out and explore the cities. Because most people start and then they run out and they go and they do their things. So, we're going to go, we're going to explore a little more, and then we're going to head on over to the humans. But this section of the map seems to be very tranquil, very beautiful. I have been to the other sections and they are quite different in terrain as well as look. So really enjoying this. And this right here is really cool looking. I love these gardens, these uh, corridors for a lot of people to go through and talk and bargain and I've met a person in this city and I've traded equipment with them. It's just an overall safe community hub for people to be able to trade as well as look cool with their gear and their cool tames. So I hope you guys like this, this beautiful view here. And we're going to go out of the city just at the outskirts of the city. We're going to show it off. Well, 
it started raining so I hope you guys don't mind but these statues signify the exit of the city and this is out into the wondrous world of this game and man it is savage out there I can tell you right now I've run into some pretty crazy stuff the second city we're going to take a look at is the human city and this human city as you can see it looks very familiar to a lot of medieval games because it is medieval architecture and it's beautiful I love it I love all these different little uh, concoctions here and all the little rooms and just the overall feel of this seems a lot more thought out um, down here in the trading hub it just looks like there is more um, props laying around it's just more clutter basically it's more human the elves are very um, are very calm rational people they tend to um, be minimal and humans were emotional we love our fun, we love our fighting, we love our alcohol. So we're going to have a lot of stuff laying around. And it's just a really fun thing to see that they've made the distinction between the two races and the characteristics of them. So I hope you guys take a look at some of this stuff. There's a large guy here. I would even say he's plus size, rubbing his belly. Oh yeah, slapping his <laughs> knife up his, on his gut. But it's great. I just love the... The variety of characters in this game, it's really cool to see this and I hope they do improve upon it because there's a lot of things I would love to see them add into this. So as you can see I'm looking through everything, you have the stables, you have all kinds of stuff. Um, it is a really beautiful little city. We're going to head up to the second level of the city and this is where things get a little more interesting. You have more architecture, you have less NPCs. And overall, it just starts to get very interesting to see what happens here. Maybe they'll have rooms that you can rent. Maybe they'll have um, social areas, events, quest lines in these areas. But overall, it looks really cool. I love this tree in the middle of everything. And then you got the castle. You look up at it just up on top of the perch of this hill. And it just looks really cool. Although this city seems a lot sm smaller, it is a lot more compact. And... I was exploring, I went up to the castle, and I wanted to exactly see what's on the other side. Unfortunately, you can't get in, so I did the only rational thing, which was do an admin fly cheat and get over. So I went over, checked it out, and I was surprised. I was honestly didn't know why they would block this off. Look at this, you got this beautiful, massive structure here, and this beautiful monument. Like, come on, like, people want to see this. This is great. I guess you could get here by flying into it, but people on the foot, I think they should have access to this place, and it is beautiful. It might not, it might be completely unfinished, um, so I would definitely be interested to see what they do with this in the future. I went up to the castle, checked it out. You can't get in, unfortunately, but there are still structures down here that you can get into, and there's actually NPCs in these structures. I did not see that down below besides the the areas that you can drink and barter and stuff like that and this seems to be a church so really cool really really interesting stuff here the they put a lot of thought into the look of these good the trees up against the castle looks fantastic so it is an overall really nice looking little castle well that seems to be the end of this city um it was really nice it was compact there's a lot of things to see there's npcs everywhere which is really nice and you got this whole section that's locked to the public that i couldn't find a way in besides flying over the top of the wall and it had a really nice surprise in between it is a beautiful beautiful little part of the city so look at this beauty right here that is really nice Now we are with the Dwarven City, and this city, as usual, as you would think, looks absolutely spectacular. I honestly did not start on this side of the map, and I kind of regret it, because they got what you expect from dwarves. They got metal structures, they got beautiful fire areas, you got a lot of uh, blacksmith stuff, and a lot of beer. I mean, damn, that's a lot of beer. And they look great absolutely great with their armors um it's just uh, it's beautiful like I, honestly i've always really in, appreciated the lore behind the dwarves as well as their cultural significance and stuff like that and it just 
it looks cool it looks really fun um it is really good looking and <laughs> i can't state that enough uh i kind of regret not starting here because this would have made more of an impact when it came to the main cities than anything else and as you can see you got a lot of weapons and i'm pretty sure you can come here with some blueprints or at least purchase some really good uh weapons later on in the end game and it just overall is a really interesting little area and as you explore a little more you find the entrance to the fortress which looks beautiful there's a lot of things here um these these uh these structural tube things on the side here remind me a lot of arc <laughs> which i believe they probably got it from so i'm gonna open up this beautiful big door and this looks amazing first off like i think they put a lot more time into this city than um the other ones but that is pretty cool to look at the light coming through there and then you go deeper and it gets more scarier basically uh it's really cool statues on the wall with fire um this to me looks like what i would expect from you know a year from now uh for all the cities for, for the atmosphere for everything to fall in line and this just looks amazing like this to me is like a dungeon that i would go and fight a boss in and that's what i like um it doesn't look unfinished it looks very well thought out um everything seems to work well together you got flowing light sources down below in the lava you got this cool structure um this absolutely amazing uh picture of a dragon or a drake or wyvern wyvern <laughs> but um it's really cool with a little more exploration, I found the throne room, and I found these scary-looking beasts. I don't know exactly what they are, but they're in my way, so I'm going to give them a little punch. Come on, get out of my way, you punk. Oh, fuck. Okay, for, so so they're aggressive, so when you come in here, guys, don't punch these things, because they will actually attack you. I'm going to get the hell out of here before I do die. There we go. <laughs> calm down, calm down. I wasn't... There we go. Okay, so I'm guessing these are their guards. Um, pretty cool. I can also um, speculate that these are actually NPCs. Uh, not NPCs. Um, these are just mobs that have fallen down in here. Because if you look up into the air, you'll actually see that there's this huge area above. Oh, wait. What's this? Maybe that's the queen. She's glitched in the ground. But as you can see up here, see a big hole. Looks really cool. And I'm ascending up to... Valhalla. But on a serious note, I wanted to see if you can actually make it up through here without being clipped or stopped. And you can. So that's going to be interesting to see if people are going to be using this as a way to um, attack the city from inside. You can just fly Griffin down here. Um, really weird, but it's a long ways down. So it's you might have a lot of issues getting in here overall. But as you can see up here, you can come right out into the world and you can run around and it just looks like a huge, huge security breach for any castle. Well, we're back down here in the throne room. It looks really cool. I think you guys should definitely go in here and explore. Find some cool things, you know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you found. And overall, this was a really nice little fun exploration. I'm going to be bringing you guys more content now. And this content's pretty much going to be what I've been doing on the game with the people. Uh, which basically means raiding people, killing people, and dying quite a lot. Because this game, when it first came out, had a lot of issues when it came to... Uh, the hunger and food drain it still does but I've worked around um, managing it it's much like Ark when I first started out I died a lot from the heat and the cold and this time around I am learning how to manage my hunger and my uh, water level so really fun game guys I highly recommend it you should go check it out if you haven't um, but overall I'm hoping you guys will give this a try or at least watch some more videos of mine and see if you guys would like to come out and try this game maybe meet me in the world somewhere so we're gonna go ahead and end this here guys i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys next time
Well, if you guys have made it this far, I want to give you guys my merchandise channel. It's for the few dedicated Titan Shield fans out there that want to wear these things, they want to look good, and on top of that, they want to represent Titan Shield. So I want to thank you guys for coming over here, checking out that store on Teespring. If you guys want to know where the link is on the website, you can check it up in the top right corner. It's the red icon. And on a mobile, you can go to the About tab on your screen, and you can go down to the bottom and hit that. Helps me out immensely, helps me out with hardware, software, making videos crystal clear for you guys, as well as audio crystal clear. So I want to thank you guys for checking it out, and I'll see you next time. Come fight me, man. Come fight me. Oh, shit, Cosby. They didn't weigh you down. Let me go. Come up to me. Come up to me. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Move, go. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking scrubs! <laughs> the weapon's in there. <laughs>